Hello and welcome back to the channel. I bought this pretty clean copy of Pokemon Yellow off eBay recently and the seller said that it had issues loading so let's boot it up and I'll show you the specific problem and how to fix it. First let's open it up and see what the insides look like. Looks pretty clean. Clean on the outside and clean on the inside. Let's boot it up and I'll show you the problem. Pay close attention to the top right corner after the Game Boy logo. Did you see it? Let's boot it up one more time and I'll freeze frame it for you. That. Right there. That tells me that this cartridge is trying to load but there's some issues retrieving the data and it displays that artifact instead. Now the Nintendo logo looks good when it boots, so it shouldn't be any issues with the pins being dirty. It's most likely an issue with the ROM chip. But which one is the ROM chip? Well, I'm glad you asked. There's a few main chips that you need to be aware of on the circuit board, so let's go through them quick right now. The ROM chip holds all of the game data, so if you're having issues loading up your games, then this is most likely the area affected. The RAM chip is right below the ROM, and this holds your save game data until it is needed the next time you boot up your game. This is also why the coin battery is needed since the RAM needs power to hold the data that's on it. So if you're having issues with your games not saving and your battery is a brand new one, there could be an issue with your RAM or the next chip. The RAM protector chip regulates the power from the battery going to the RAM, so if this is having issues, you may be having problems with your game keeping its save file. Now that you know what these items do, it makes it a lot easier to figure out what to focus on when certain issues pop up with your game. In this case, we're going to be focusing on the ROM since the game just won't boot up. But first, I'm going to do a quick cleaning of the board and housing since I'm confident it will be fixed and I also want the new owner to get a nice clean game too. I also noticed a small little defect on one of these traces and I want to rule that out as a possible issue. I just took a small screwdriver and carefully scratched away the top layer over the trace on the other side where the defect was. Then I tested each of the points with the multimeter to make sure the signals are going through the small defect and it seems to be working without any issues. Now rather than testing every trace coming from the ROM, I'm just going to heat up the legs of the chip one by one to see if there's a cold solder joint somewhere. This is a very common problem to have on these handheld games since there's a lot more vibration from popping the cartridges in and out all the time. Also since it is a portable item, it tends to be dropped and jostled around a lot more than a home console would. Here I'm just cleaning it up again to make sure there's no residue left behind and testing it out. And look at that, fixed up and ready to play. The save file even works. But I'm going to swap out that battery since I really don't think it's going to be lasting much longer. It is the original from 1999. But if you like more info and an in-depth look into swapping out save batteries for a Game Boy game, then check out this video on my channel. I explain not only how to do it, but also what to buy and where to buy it from so it doesn't break the bank. Now on to protecting that little defect on the board. I like to use green nail polish to cover up issues like that, and since we did scrape off the top of the trace to test it, I'd like to cover up all of it so that it's protected. Let that dry and then do a quick test of the new save battery to make sure it's working properly. Once again, if you want more info about save battery swaps, check out my other video. One final cleaning on the outside to get rid of any hand oils and dust, and this cartridge is looking really good. Just need to be careful of the label since it is paper and these can rip or fade easily if you clean them directly. If you've made it this long, I'd really appreciate a like or a comment on this video since it really helps promote this video and my channel. And if you like this kind of content, be sure to subscribe as well. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next fix.